are my go-to for easy but mind-blowing art pieces with kids. The resist effect is fun to watch and gives immediate joy. To experience this at creative euphoria, uh, join me with your oil pastels, paints, and pencil. Uh, we together will create an easy to do Easter egg resist art piece. We're going to be doing an Easter egg that has bunny ears and little bunny feet. So we're going to start off by drawing our bunny feet at the bottom and then we're going to do our egg and then our ears. Lightly sketch your bunny feet at the bottom. I like to give my bunny feet four big toes that meet at the heel and I, on your foot we have a hairy ball of foot and heel. And we do this on the other side as well. And we always make sure that we are drawing it on an angle because that's kind of how things work when um, we put our actual feet down on the ground. They are, of course, hanging out on an angle because of gravity. Okay, now I think he's a little bit too long. All right. Next, uh, we draw the ball of foot and heel and get rid of my eraser bits. Draw the egg with a large and tall oval. We want it to be big but not too big because we do need to put ears at the top, which is why you can see I've changed root, which is also a reason for drawing lightly. Next, we're going to put two bunny ears on our egg because he's so cute and he's ready for Easter. I like to add little inner ear hair because I also think that's super cute when you have inner ear hair and you're an animal. <laughs> all right, next is the fun part. We're going to first trace over all our lines with a waterproof uh, marker. Um, permanent markers were great, uh, such as this Stadler Permanent Lumo Color or this beautiful Sharpie Fine Point. So you can pick your favorite waterproof permanent ink and then trace over your entire outline. With your pencil we are going to draw a variety of lines shapes and anything else that might be of interest such as pattern at this time I want you to fill your Easter egg with line shape and pattern either um, you can work across like a traditional egg or you can just fill it in um, in however way you want
both your egg and the bunny parts with oil pastel. color we want to make sure that we only color uh, parts of the egg with our pastels leaving most of the background white. You can even leave the inner ears and the uh, pads of the rabbit's foot white paper as well because we're going to uh, fill in these parts with our paint later on. So we'll take our paint and fill them in. So I just want you to be aware of this as we are doing this please leave most of the background white so we can make this a magical bunny later. going to paint the inside of our egg, the inside parts of our rabbit. Please find your paints and your water and paintbrush. As soon as you're finished putting the water on it, so literally put the water on, take some salt and sprinkle it across your egg. What this is doing is actually it's bringing and absorbing the moisture and it's uh, going to leave a new texture on your paper. So in addition to the watercolor texture on their paper already, you're also going to have an interesting effect because it's bringing some of the uh, color closer together as you can already see what's happening and then it'll leave kind of like a crystallized effect. And so by placing um, your salt on top of watercolors, it can create a different texture. Now, I'm only using cardstock paper, but if you use real watercolor paper, the effect will be a little bit more apparent. So I'm gonna let this dry, and when we come back, we're going to rub off the salt and see what happens. 
Once dry, I rubbed off all the salt and you can kind of see in some of the areas where um, the different salt texture was uh, created. Of course, this would be a lot better when you use actual watercolor paper, um, but it still, even as is, has worked quite well. Um, and to finish it off, I just simply cut out my cute little Easter egg bunny. After your piece is fully dry, you are ready to display it as an Easter decoration. I always love going to the dollar store and finding a nice white frame to put it in. I would love to know what you like to draw or create for Easter. Please leave your response in the comment section below the video for your chance to um, discuss with other art teachers and myself as well as possibly be the comment star in a future video of mine. Like this video and click the bell to receive notifications of when new episodes arrive. As well, please subscribe to this Artastic channel. For more art tutorials, head on over to my blog at MsArtastic.com. Check out me on TeachersPayTeachers.com under Ms. Artastic for some more art teacher resources that you can use in your classroom. Um, as well as for behind the scenes footage, please follow me on Instagram at Ms. Artastic. See you next time.